It's dying, but it's not dying from a terminal illness, rather a reversible one. Kodak poised to raise the price of film like up to 40 percent. Okay, so let me give you guys like a real life example of how expensive it is to shoot film these days. About three videos ago, I went out and I shot some Portra 400 on the coast of California. You should go check that video out. I shot a roll, just one, one roll of Portra 400, and that costed me $16 and to get it scanned and developed, that was another $20. So that, my friends, is a total of $36. And wait, wait, wait a second. There's 36 exposures, 36 photos, and a roll of Portra. So that means, if you do the quick math, that's a dollar per photo. Yes, a dollar per photo. That's a lot of money, man. And then you wanna know something crazy on top of that? After shooting 14 rolls of Portra 400, you could easily buy yourself a used Sony a6400 or even, even a Fuji X100. And for a little bit extra on top of that, you could buy yourself a preset pack and just make all your photos look like film. Speaking of that, on top of the $36 that I had to pay to get these photos, I had to edit them as well because I just, I don't know what happened, but they did not come out appealing at all. They just looked really bland and here I'll just show you guys what they look like and what I had to do to edit them. Well, down the drain if you ask me. Why you might ask? Well, because people like Grainy Days or Chris Chu are still gonna be able to buy film because of their YouTube ad revenue. But what about hobbyists and beginner photographers that just don't have the budget to buy this expensive film? Most of them will just have to stop shooting film completely and my guess is that the rest will probably just reduce their consumption. And the reason I say down the drain is because I would imagine that most of the people who shoot film are probably not doing it professionally. They are not doing it to get paid. They are the hobbyists, they are the beginner. So imagine like if, if the prices go up so high that let's just say, we'll just say, I don't know the exact number, that 60% of people who shoot film are hobbyists and beginners. And let's say half of those decide to stop and or reduce consumption by a lot. What? What do you think that the future of Kodak or Fuji in terms of film is going to be? If the demand is not there, then there's, there's no revenue. So that means only one thing. Yeah, it's not good. Well, the first thing you can do is find out how you can make some more money. But the problem with that is most people these days are just so unmotivated that that's gonna be really hard to do. Just shoot less film. No one's holding a gun up to your head saying you have to shoot film. But I like the style, I like the colors. Well, a lot of people like the style of Gucci and Prada, but they just can't afford it. So you just have to be realistic and you have to ask yourself, well, how can I get this look without the giant price tag? Which leads me to my next point. Get yourself a nice used mirrorless camera. Get yourself a diffusion filter. Get yourself a subscription to Lightroom. And then from there, all you have to do is go out and shoot and get yourself a preset pack or figure out how to edit yourself. I have a video on this. And then you can make your photos look 90 to 95% like film. And this is exactly what I do. So let me show you a couple photos that look like film, but they're actually shot on my Sony a6400. This is the last piece of advice I want to give and I'm going to wrap up with this one and it is that I treat film like specialty coffee. From time to time I do like to go to the store and buy a, you know, a $17 or $18 bag of coffee because it is some of the best coffee you can buy. 
And instead of drinking that coffee every single day uh, and making my bank account go to zero, I drink that coffee on special occasion, whether it's just on the weekends or just for the morning cup, or maybe every three days I'm gonna drink from that batch. And then I have a separate batch that is more cost effective that I drink you know, for the other 18 cups of coffee that I drink in a day. So that way I can still enjoy the beauty of a fresh roasted batch of coffee and not go broke. So I would recommend taking a similar approach with film where you shoot a roll or two or three, you know, on a special occasion. Let's say you take a trip up the coast or you fly to Washington, you know, you take a couple rolls with you and, and you take some shots. Or let's say you're getting married and you wanna take some, some photos there, go for it. But to shoot film every single day, if you're not making money from it, is just stupid. You're gonna waste your money. And half the time you're taking photos of dumb things anyways, like fire hydrants and you know these all these retro things that you're, you're just gonna have in your archive and not really do anything with. This is exactly what I do. I shoot digital probably 98% of the time and the other 2% I shoot film. So like I said, film is dying a slow death, but if we have the right doctor come in and just fix the problem, that Kodak and Fuji, uh, I think actually know about, but they just don't care because they are not enthusiasts. They're not like us. They, they just see it as a dollar bill. And what is anything these days that isn't seen as a dollar bill? They don't care if you're a, a, an enthusiast or if you're whoever you are shooting film, they don't care. At the end of the day, it's all about their revenue. Well, guys, thank you for listening to my take on this subject. Uh, I kind of want to talk more about like hot topics and photography uh, or um, new products that are coming out because I feel like this is the only way that we can have a discussion. Uh, Instagram is useless, so is Twitter. And uh, I think that in the comments, maybe we can have some meaningful discussion about these things. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, my name is Juna. I'm a street photographer based out of California. And I look forward to making more videos for you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.